Boston, CBS, let's get this out of the way first. Losing Jason Tatum put the Celtics in a terrible spot for the next 10 or so days. That being said, the Celtics still should have been able to beat the Minnesota Timberwolves on Monday night, a team whose roster is even more ravaged by COVID-19 than Boston's. The Celtics were missing Tatum, Dennis Schroeder and Josh Richardson because of COVID, plus Marcus Smart with a hand injury, but the Wolves had just one of their usual starters on Monday night. They relied heavily on Nathan Knight, who has won a two-way contract, and newcomer Greg Monroe who signed with the team Monday morning and arrived in Minnesota hours before tip-off. He had no idea who he was sharing the floor with on Monday night. Read more, Dolphins are making it real interesting for Patriots in the AFC playoff race that did not stop Monroe from absolutely feasting on his former team. Following a 4 a.m. wake-up call to inform him that he was joining the Wolves, followed by that scramble to get to Soda, Monroe gave his new team 25 solid minutes where he scored 11 points pulled down 9 rebound and dished out 6 assists. Knight, who had never scored double digits in his brief NBA career, torched a seized for 20 points and 11 rebounds over his 29 minutes. And for good measure, Jalen Noel, a 22-year-old former second-round pick averaging just over 6 points per game this season, led everyone with a game-high 29 points in his 35 minutes off the bench. I'm not going to lie. Jalen Noel played awesome tonight. But I have no idea who that was, Monroe admitted after the win. That was who the Celtics lost to Monday night, a squad put together with a use some gum and a paperclip. That was the team that the Celtics blew an 11-point, third-quarter lead to, leading to yet another demoralizing and frustrating loss in a season filled with them.